Hi folks, good to be with you. Don't forget my website, jasonburnspreacher.com. I'm going to make quite a few videos now. Uh, it's good to be with you. And love to everybody out there. You, you can get me on Facebook and Twitter as well. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk about my experience at Hyde Park this week. Uh, I made a video when, when I was coming home at night. I was quite tired. And I want to make a more objective video. So, and I'm going to make quite a few videos now. I'll get that later. <laughs> I'm going to make quite a few videos now, and I hope they edify you and encourage you in your faith. And before we begin, uh, I want to read Galatians chapter 1, verse 3 and 9. Grace be unto you, and peace from God the Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be the some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have have preached unto you let him be accursed and we say before so say I now again if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that you have received let him be accursed amen um, I just want to say a few things uh, concerning my going to Hyde Park this time I, I thank people I want to thank people we had a lot of encouragement a lot of encouragement we had uh, Ray, we had, well, we had the team in the car. We had John, we had Mike, we had Gareth, and me. Then we had Ray, we had Stefan, we had uh, John, another John, and we had a couple of other people join. We had, so there was about ten people circling around, connected to to our group, uh, and so that was really encouraging. To see that that was really encouraging the other thing is um, we had a lot of people come up shake our hands and really appreciated the work that we've been doing so I want to thank everybody for all DCCI uh, Suckle Films and so many people that shook our hands and said thank you for all that you've been doing and the encouragement so I really thank you for that um, I just want to say that this time I find it a bit difficult this time I think to be honest I think we, we traveled in the car and I was much more fitter and healthier because the bu the traveling on the bus is very it takes a lot out of you but um, I didn't eat properly I didn't have much to eat all day I, I had egg sandwiches in the morning I didn't have any dinner I didn't have any tea so I, I think I, I was I was not in my full energy uh, Stefan offered to buy me some food but I said it was okay uh, so I didn't have the kind of energy that I normally have uh, I got into a discussion with Jedi a guy who debates down there about a topic that I studied a lot about capital punishment I didn't enjoy that conversation because most of the time he wasn't listening most of the time he was controlling the conversation and he was smart. He was smirking and laughing, and then Paperboy came along and he he took over the conversation. And then I couldn't even get a word edgeways, and I just I really didn't like the conversation, and I, it spoiled it for me that that both of them were not allowing me to properly interact in the conversation. Um, and there was other people talking as well, and 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 they weren't letting me give whatever I needed to give. But then again. It worked out well because it wasn't a topic that I had studied a lot really. But I didn't enjoy Jedi's kind of smirky attitude to be honest. Um, he's a nice guy. Um, you know, I've got nothing against him but that's just the way it was. Um, then two of the guys who come down to help us, John and Stefan, got into a conversation with my saw. 
I was stood there, I wanted to help them, but he, but Mansoor wouldn't let me come in. So there was nothing I could do, really. And then at the end, Mansoor said, do you want to talk off camera? So the guys went off to talk to him. Mike with him, Mike went with him, so I thought, well, Mansoor wouldn't want me to talk with him. He didn't want me to talk then, so, so there we are. So I, I left them to it. So I wasn't happy about that because I could have been there to help them and give give the guys that had come down to give me support. I could have given them support, but I wasn't able to do so. Then later on in the day, I had a debate with an elderly Muslim guy, which was okay. And then later on in the... Later on, I had another debate with Mansour and Abbas. But it was Mike who was debating, and I joined in the debate. But then... I couldn't get much word in the, the Abbas and Mansur were not letting me get in and halfway through the conversation I was able to um, get get my thoughts in and uh, cause them a bit of trouble asking questions uh, but my overall impression this this time I think it was worth going down to encourage people uh, a lot of people were encouraged but it, it was not fruitful in discussion for me because most of the time, 18% of the time, the Muslim apologists were not willing to talk properly, really. Uh, and uh, it was difficult to get Muslims to talk and, and be, uh, be open with me and talk. So the day passed quite quickly. Uh, so, so that's my overall impression this time. Whether I go again, I think I will go again, but um, it'll be maybe mid-November, uh, sometime late November. Uh, but I think uh, I'll be looking for more professional debates at university campuses uh, and kind of develop that way forward, I think. I think, for me, that's better because I, I do... I do stacks of research I've got if you look at here we're going to look at some of the material and um, I want to use that material and debate people who, who really want to debate I'm not the greatest of debaters but I, I like to study and I like to present this material so I'm going to maybe develop more debating on university campuses maybe so if there's any Muslim apologists out there that want to debate on university campuses and get involved in that, uh, then I'd like to hear from you. Um, I'd like to hear from any Muslim apologist that wants to do more of a professional debate, so please let me know. Um, Shabi Ali, a representative of his in the UK, got in contact, contact with me, and Shabi Ali would have been interested in having a dialogue with me. So... I've debated Aquil, who's a professional Muslim debater. So if there's any Muslim apologist out there who want to debate in a professional way, or if there's any Hyde Park Muslim apologist that want to do more of a professional debate, where we hire a hall, or debate in a church, or debate in a mosque, or debate at a university, maybe Mansour, Hamza, Mohammed Hijab, maybe you might be interested in, in moving forward in doing more professional debates then please let me know I'd be very interested because I do a lot of study and I would like to have the chance to have proper dialogue and I find it very disturbing and very difficult when you stood next to a Muslim apologist at Hyde Park and they're blatantly ignoring you and they don't want to talk to you and uh, I find that quite off-putting because it's not really fair if people have ma made the time and effort to do research you should be willing to engage with it. So that's those are my thoughts. Uh, but we 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 had a good time, and it was. Uh, I thank everybody for your prayers. So in the next few videos now, I'm going to talk about the some of the di discussion that I had with Mansour and Abbas, and then I'm going to go into some of my debate notes, and I hope this is going to be a help to you. Okay, God bless you.